IBM coming out with a big claim that its new computer chips are the most powerful in existence. Joining us now to discuss this is Brett Molina, tech reporter at USA Today. Brett, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Let's talk about this computer chip. Uh, this was developed or is in development uh, with IBM and a consortium of uh, partners. Let's talk about some of the details of this. What would make this the world's most powerful computer chip? Well, this would be the first seven nanometer chip. Um, to put it in perspective, a lot of the modern devices that we use um, use a 14 nanometer chip. Um, and the industry is already kind of making movements towards 10 nanometer. Um, so it's already, this, this new chip that IBM's unveiled has already skipped a generation. And uh, the most important part of this is it's about half the size, but it's going to provide about twice the uh, performance of today's chip. So it's a pretty big step. Yeah, and just to dig into that a little bit more, uh, you know, according to some reports, Intel is typically the company that is associated with advancements in terms of the semiconductor space, uh, yet we're seeing this from IBM. Um, just, I guess maybe to put this in even more context, comparing this to previous uh, chips and what else is on the market, uh, what does this mean for consumers? Well, it means you're going to get smaller devices and, and just g electronics in general that are going to perform a lot faster, that are going to consume less battery and they're just going to work more efficiently. Um, and also because these chips are a lot smaller, they're going to allow room for more uh, transistors. And that basically just allows your computer or your smartphone to just operate more quickly. And that chip takes up a lot less space. So ag again, you're going to see your smartwatch perform a lot better. You're going to see smartphones, perf smartphones perform a lot better as well. Um, it's going to be a little while before these chips come out, maybe a couple years or so. But you're definitely going to see vast improvements compared to what we use now. And uh, how key is it, the fact that this is coming from IBM and not a competitor? What does this mean for the company? Also, what does this mean for the technology? Because in terms of this chip uh, using silicon ger germanium instead of pure silicon, um, is that a game changer? Are other companies going to follow suit? Well, you know, IBM says that was one of the big reasons why they were able to go smaller. There were concerns that, you know, could chips go below this 14 nanometer mark? And, and with the use of silicon germanium and also this uh, lithography technology called extreme ultraviolet, um, it allows them to make chips that are a lot smaller. I mean, IBM even hinted at the possibility of a five nanometer chip. Um, so, you know, it's, it seems like a very big step forward in terms of chip making. As for IBM itself, it has its own, um, you know, things that it's working on as well. Cloud computing being a big thing. They're also doing a lot with big data. So these chips would benefit them greatly too. Great. Brett Molina, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.